I'm going to do a short video. I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got four bagpipe cases, all slightly different types, but uh, two hard cases and two soft cases. I'll try and tell you the pros and cons associated with them and maybe help you out if you're going to be spending some of your hard earned cash. All right. Okay, we've got the bagpiper flight case. So, this I think cost about 90 quid when I bought it. Um, it's still brand new, I think I've used it twice, one flight out and one flight back. No problems at all getting it on. Uh, but I suppose things that I like about this are the, the size. It's, uh, it is a proper sort of, well the, you can take it on, uh, it's uh, flight friendly, you know, carry on luggage friendly. Um, it's not bulky really in any way, uh, there are some things, I'll get to that in a sec, um, but yeah, the only thing with this design is um, that you have to break down the uh, your tenors, you have to take your tenor tops off, but yeah, it's it feels, uh, you know, good quality um, material, you know, nice uh, handles and the zippers are feel chunky and quality. Uh, the front here, we've also got a big accessory pocket in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, so we maybe for a tablet here or some music books or what, whatever you take in your pipe box. Uh, that wasn't really the, the sole reason I bought this was for flying. So, and it, it did the job for that. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, it's got one of these trolley attachments, and you can trundle it along on the wheels. But uh, as you can see, these wheels have not touched the ground at all. Not interested in that. And that to me is the biggest drawback to this case, is this stupid attachment at the back. It'd be much better if it were just a backpack rather than this trolley palaver. And I'll show you why in a second. So inside, there's just a, a, a third or a fourth set I've got here that are just in bits, but you get the idea. So. Your uh, pipes go there without your tenor tops, and then in this little thing here, this is where you keep your base drone, gets broken down into cubits, tenor tops, etc. And they are backed away, and there is some protection there, some foam. Again, this isn't very padded, in fact, it's not very padded at all. So. That's the worst thing about this case, is the lack of protection. I'm going to take this out. That's just there. I'll show you what I hate about this. So you've got that trolley attachment in the back. You put your beloved set in here. But then when you're clunking about, not too much protection is from this aluminium bar. Absolutely diddly squat. Nothing. And then you're just down into the hard mechanism of it. So I had a towel in there and lumps of foam just to try and get something between the two. Uh, so I don't use this uh, case at all now. It's been retired. I've used it twice. And it's uh, the biggest waste of 90 quid I think I've ever spent. But if you don't care about your pipes too much uh, and you like the trolley thing, then... It'd probably serve a purpose, but I'd like a, a good bit more protection. This is a big on um, convenience, but low on well, the things that matter to me, protection for your instrument. Uh, so if anybody wants to buy this, they can buy them off me. <laughs> 
And that is the bag paper plate case. Right, this is the bagpipe uh, bag piper explorer case. Um, this is quite a pricey case, but it's supposed to be sort of the best, I'm led to believe, one of the best soft cases going. Uh, it's made from very nice or sort of hard wear and feels like a quality uh, uh, case, you know, nice big thick handles. Um, and lots of loops and accessory pockets. I don't know what you would use that for, water or something like that. But yeah, at the front, there's uh, quite a few pockets here and onto your tablet if you've got one of those. Uh, I suppose what you're looking for in a case is subjective. But uh, yeah, it's got lots of things there, one for your phone or maybe music books or what have you. Zippers, they feel sort of quality again, the nice tag there, emblazoned tag. Uh, I'm not so interested in all that sort of stuff. This is actually a proper backpack, uh, nice soft. Uh, pads there for your back, proper straps as well. Um, yeah, for a soft case it's quite good. I mean it's got the typical soft case drawbacks, but uh, and on the bottom there's some grips for, I suppose, stop this wearing out, but the way it sits, these seams are always going to get worn down first, I would say. Then, <coughs> Uh, inside the most important bit. So this is why I, I like I like this. So I don't know if you can see that there. But this is uh, it's all very very soft velvet lined. There's a securing strap there to hold your drones in place. Bonus for uh, a bit better compared to the flight case one is that you don't have to break your tenors down. Uh, yeah, so this is what I keep my pipes in when they're in the house. I wouldn't use this for these pipes going out and about just because there really is a lack of impact protection. If you're going somewhere you know they're not going to get knocked about or whatever, then yeah, I suppose this would be fine enough. But that's it. The only really downside to this, apart from the soft ish exterior and these crappy zips here i don't know why you go to all the bother of putting this lovely velvet uh, interior in and then you've got velvet here as well and then you put these crappy zips on here i don't know why they aren't rubberized or whatever but they're just going to if you've got nice pipes in here there's a good chance these are just going to scratch them and a big disappointment that I really, uh, really hate that. Um, but I uh, extra storage there if you need it. Uh, I don't tend to use it, but it's there if you want it. But overall, a good, good case of uh, the soft cases that I've tried. That's probably the best one, but it's by far and away the most expensive. Okay, next I've got a good old fashioned bagpipe case. You know, what's to say about these things that folk probably don't already know? This is what everybody had prior to the sort of soft case revolution, a little bit like the hybrid bags. Everybody had a, a, a hide bag or a sheepskin bag, or maybe one of those uh, Canmore green balloons, but this is what you generally ended up with. I think you can still get them for about 60 quid. This one's about 25 years old and you, it is looking its age now in places but things I like about this case are, you know, it offers a, a lot more protection than those soft cases uh, and that is, to me, that's number one 
Um, I suppose minor uh, boost as well, you don't have to break your uh, tenors down and if you like stickers I suppose you can stick stickers on it, you can't put stickers on uh, on a soft case but uh, and I suppose in this day and age it's quite cheap if you can get one for 60 quid it's quite cheap. So downsides to it you're not going to carry this on anywhere and to be honest with you carrying it anywhere is a bit of a chore uh, depending on how much crap you put in in these things uh, you can only carry them by your side they don't have a shoulder strap and this handle is so thin that if you've got anything you know anything other than your pipes in there that's going to cut in and be bloody sore so yeah, they're not great for sort of carrying about, but from the car to the, the band bus or to the venue or whatever, no bother. Um, another sort of, I suppose, downside to them, with it being an aluminium case, is it's hard aluminium all the way around here, and if you're taking your pipes in and out, you know, there's a chance you could chip them or damage them on there. I mean, you can see this, this one does look... 25 years old. The, the foam's had it, but really to refresh that, you'd buy some some uh, some cheap sort of 10 or 15 mil uh, foam off a of Phoebe for a few quid, and just spray glue it in, and then you you're left with a, a brand new brand new case. Uh, I still like this case, and I still use this case. Um, as I say, it gives you a good bit more protection than the, the newer sort of soft cases but it is still just it's like a ply there I think this is sort of like a leather covered ply um, it's not gonna save them from I don't know if somebody sat on it there you'd quite easily crash but you know the way your, your pipes are generally stored or in the hold or that it's gonna do it do the job I think. Um, so I have a lot more time for these than I do the new soft cases. Uh, that said I only use that from sort of going out and about just because it's a little bit more awkward to um, you know to carry I suppose. So last but not least we have the Pelican 1510 hard case. So this is what I use when I go out and about. I like to keep my instrument in one piece and I don't think there is another case on the market which will do it better. Now these things are usually pretty cost prohibitive. I mean I think you know UK wise you're probably talking 220 plus uh, for something like this. But I was very lucky and got it in a like a, a flash sale or a Black Friday deal uh, on Amazon for 110 quid. So I mean you pay that for a you know a soft case. Uh, so I thought that was a great deal. What what can you say about Pelican cases? Well. As that hasn't already been said, I suppose they are the ultimate in protection cases and they are a quality bit of kit. I just love how simple everything is. There's nothing flash on them. Um, you know, for instance, you know, you've just got a big solid plastic handle which is, uh, you know, it's wide, good grip, so it's comfortable to carry even for the size. Same on the top, same on the top there, and then at the back, what's great, is the, uh, the trolley system, is, it's just so simple, there's nothing about it, it's just a bit of plastic, a bit sturdy plastic, you're not going to break this, and I suppose if you do, it's just bolt on and bolt off, so where do you go wrong? And unlike the, the old style pipe case, 
somebody sitting on that, kicking that, dropping that, it's going to do nothing to your bagpipes. So, plus you can put a couple of stickers on it if you like, if that's your thing. Most importantly, inside. Now, this uh, 110 quid that came with the pick and pluck foam. So, uh, looking online, there was a few guys with uh, some sort of ideas on how to go about it. So I looked at them all, took a wee bit from everyone, and this is how I've. Uh, arranged it. Uh, so you can see I've, I've done cutouts for my uh, tenor tops and uh, my bass drone top. So they sit in there and, and down below and then I put it in the bag first. So bag onto there and then stocks and a uh, blow stick uh, to the top. Now other guys I've seen using this don't have this foam round the edge. I suppose that's up to yourself, um, but I just don't want my pipes rattling off the side of this uh, hard plastic. Uh, I've seen folk wrapping them in big towels, I suppose you can do that as well, but I've done it this way. Uh, it's a very, very snug fit. I mean, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't be having any accessories in here. You just have your bagpipes and a couple of chanters maybe. But because it's snug, they're not moving about and so they're not going to be smashing off of one another, potentially damaging your, your kit. Um, but yeah, this is the right size for carry-on luggage, on big planes at least. Uh, where I live, small planes, you wouldn't get that on. Um, with the soft case, the flight case, Folk were very understanding about that being bagpipes, whereas this, uh, we wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have gotten away with that. Um, but it's absolutely solid. So if you did have to check it in, I wouldn't be scared. Put it that way. Uh, some folk have shown that these clips have got like a double mechanism, so they can't be open, but. So that's all you need to do is put a lock on here or a thick tie that through there and that would hold it hold it shut for the duration of the travel. But yeah, if you can get a deal on one of these and you are out and about and travelling all over the place, to me that is the case to get. Okay, so just to show you how the... Uh, the setup of the the case. So, I've got my bagpipes here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just move this to the to the side a little bit. What you have to do with this? This is the thing that makes this case and certainly the the flight case as well just a little bit more awkward. You have to disassemble your. Uh, Tenor tops. There. And then the foam cutouts that I've made here, these all just slip in here. It's a very, very tight fit, uh, and so underneath here is a very thin layer of foam, um, probably about 15 or 20 mil. 
So these aren't hard onto the uh, hard plastic. So I just did this very roughly by eye, but again, after seeing a few people online with different configurations, sort of picked up on, on this. So that's the, that's the tops. And then what I do is I take my, I put it in bag first. Like this. Now I've only got a tube and a trap dry in here. I suppose if you've got a moisture control system of any sort, this might be a, a little bit, um, this might be a little bit more difficult. So I'll take my blow stock out. There we go. And that's them. And then with this pressing down on the top, there's, there's nowhere for them to move. They're not going to rattle. I'll just put a chanter in there as well. A black wood chanter there. I'll just sit down the side. So there is still space. You could run this with less foam. Um, and you'd have plenty of space for any, you know, hemp, drone reeds, whatever, uh, tape. I mean, you could chuck tape and that in there, but I just don't keep it in there. But it's less faff. You know, I've just got a separate little bag with my hemp and that in it. Because when you're going away, you generally got another bag anyway, so. When you're sporting or whatever. But yeah, so that's the configuration of, of that. And then solid.